In this session, we are going to learn how to install Oracle Java 17 on Ubuntu 22.04 and tips. So here we need two prerequisites. So first we need Ubuntu server 22.04 and after that we need a sudo privilege. Okay. So here you can see we have successfully logged into our Ubuntu server Ubuntu server 22.04 and tips you can see. So here we are going to install Oracle Java 17. So first of all, if you want to check the um, short detail about your Ubuntu version, then you can use this command uname hyphen a. So you can see here, you can see the IP address and so on of about uh, our Ubuntu. If you want to check the details, in detail then you can use the command and you can see the details of your operating system you can see the name of our operating system and the version and so on so that's the details of our ubuntu so let's clear the screen and now let's install java oracle sorry oracle java 17 so here you can see so for the first step is we need to download oracle java 17. so you can see here i mentioned a link to oracle home website so let's go to the website using this or, or, uh, url and as you can see here here go to the java Yes, E17 and click, click on download as shown in below image. So let's go to the website using this URL. And after that, let's scroll down. And here you can see the 17, version 17 that we want. You can see Java platform, yes, is standard edition 17. So here, click on this download. You can see here Java 19 and 17 available now. So let's scroll down. And you can see Java SE development kit 17.0.6 downloads. Like you can see the for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So we want Linux and here I'm going to use this package here that Debian package, I'm going to use this. So click right click and copy the link address. And here we are going to download this using wget command and let's paste that link that we have copy from this website. Okay. Now if I run the ls command, you can see the JDK 17 that we have downloaded. Okay, now the next step is here. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is download, sorry, install Oracle 17 Java, oh sorry, Oracle Java 17 using this dpkg command. So let's install Java 17 using this command. So it's unpacking JDK 17, you can see. Okay, it's done. And here you can see the error DPKG processing package, JDK 17 dependency problem and errors where and or something like this you can see, right? So here, we need to 
solve this error. So here I mentioned step you can see if the installation was not successful. So let's run the command. So first of all, we need to update our system package and as you know the command how to update sudo apt get update. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is let's run this command sudo apt get clean. Okay, it's done. So let's clear the screen first and then run the next step. So run the next command sudo apt get auto remove. Okay, you can see the following package have unmet dependency. And you can see try, try this command with no package. So I'm going to use this command. You can see here I mentioned the command sudo apt fix problem history. So I'm going to use this command. So yes. So it's done. So let's clear the screen. And after that, you can see run the installation file again. So let's run and let's check. Okay, you can see it's unpacking JDK 70. So let's check there is any error or not. So you can see there is no any error. You can see setting up JDK 70. That means it's done. Okay, let's clear the screen first. And now let's check the next step. Now the next step is update alternatives. So here I mentioned the command to update alternatives. So first of all, I'm going to use this. So here you can see the command is like this sudo update alternatives hyphen hyphen install then slash user slash bean slash java then java slash user lib java jdk 17 slash bean java space one so i'm going to enter so you can see update alternatives and you can see in auto mode okay after that i'm going to use this for java c so here add java c here also and after that in last okay okay now it's done now let's check the java version you can see the next step is let's check verify the java jdk installation right so let's check this so first of all i'm going to run this command java version to check the java version you can see the version 17.06. Okay, let's check the Java C. You can see Java C 17.06. That means we have successfully installed Java 17 on Ubuntu. Okay, okay, it's done. Now the next step is set up the and sorry, set the environment variables. So how to set? So first of all, if I run this command echo java home, then let's check the output. So you can see there is no in output, right? So we need to set the environment variable. So how to set? So first of all, let's run this command to know the java path. So here you can see there is no any alternatives in this link group java. So here we need to copy this from here to here. Okay. And after that, let's open the file sudo nano slash etc slash environment. And here let's enter Java home. And 
and here we need to paste that path that we have copied okay now let's save the file and exit after that run the command source slash etc source slash etc slash environment okay it's done now let's check the java home part here you can see if i run the command now you can see the path of our jdk 70 right so you can see here the path of our java 70 that means we have successfully installed oracle java 17 on ubuntu 22.04 lts so thank you for watching